We're going to take a look at creating a keynote in iOS. And remember, you have two ways to do that. You can choose the plus in the upper right hand corner, or you can choose create presentation. I'm going to choose the plus in the upper right hand corner. And the first thing to note is you have standard or wide options. The difference between standard and wide comes down to the size of the screen and or the type of projector that you will be using. So for instance, if you have an older style projector that does not project out widescreen or what is considered high definition width, which is 16 by nine, and it's the standard four by three, then a standard presentation will work for you. But if you're going to be presenting onto a wide screen or you have a higher definition projector, then wide would be the option you would choose. You'll notice when I change that, the shape of the actual presentation box changes with it. The problem happens is if you choose standard and you present on a wide screen, it cuts the sides so that there are two black bars on either side and your presentation is smaller in the middle. If you choose wide and you present on a smaller screen, it literally cuts the words off. So if you are not sure which one you'll be working with, the best practice would be to choose standard and you can always go back in later and adjust the document settings for the presentation. Now you do have several themes that you can choose from. And if you see one with an image, the image is a placeholder, which means you can drop any photo you want in there and it will look exactly like that. If you choose one that is a blank, which are at the top, then these are gonna be ones that you will be creating everything for. There will be no standard types of themes or any kind of uh, examples in there for you. It would just be blank presentation slides. So I'm going to choose one that is a theme that has a photo as a part of it. So I'm going to choose editorial. And the other thing is if you're working with students, keep in mind that this is a great discussion piece because you can talk to them about if you're choosing a theme, what theme would work best? Why would you choose that? If you're working with a science project, why would you choose one over the other if say you're working with uh, where you're presenting an idea or a concept for a business meeting? You can have those small discussions in any curriculum at any grade level and it really helps them to process the visual that goes into creating a presentation. So once I have my presentation open, we're going to look at several simple things to do here. We're not going to get into very much editing. Right now, we're just going to focus on the creation pieces of the slides. So if you look on the left, right now I have all slides that are shown, which I only have one. And at the bottom of the left-hand column, I can add a slide with the plus. So if I choose the plus, I can choose any slide and remember if there's a slide with a photo in it that is a placeholder which means I can easily drop another photo in there and at the bottom right is always a blank so if you don't see one that may fit what you're trying to do you can always choose the blank I'm going to choose one that has a photo in it so that I have that ready and available and I know that when I'm ready to drop in a photo this format is going to hold when I put the photo in so I don't have to create this division I don't have to worry about spacing it is automatically going to be set up for me and that's a very nice feature to do if I've added this and let's say that slide one which is the default slide I do not want slide one in there how do I delete slides well if you hold your finger down on the slide you'll see that it pops up the next thing that happens once you have it highlighted and you tap it or hold down on it, delete becomes an option. So I can simply delete that slide. The other thing that I could do if I wanted to, so I'll add another slide. And let's say that I've added this one later in my presentation, but I realize this should be my first slide. If you grab a hold of it and, a, and it stands out again and it's kind of pulsating, you can actually move and change the order. So now that becomes slide one any transitions that you add will carry with the slide so that'll be something we can look at in a future video but that's a really easy way to reorder your slides the other thing that you can do is create sub slides underneath and we'll talk about this a little bit more later when we get into the editing process if you grab this slide and include it in slide one you'll see that you now have a little drop down and you may be wondering, well, why would I do that? Well, the great feature here is you can create an entire presentation, an entire keynote deck. And if you're using it with three, four, five different classes, you can create the presentation in one keynote deck and have, let's say that this is class A, and then I wanted to add another grouping, so I'm going to add class B. And let's say that this drops in as a sub, so I want to move it out. 
I can then add another slide underneath that and as you make subcategories, you can then collapse them and hide that entire grouping so that it says skip slide. If you skip that slide, now when you present, none of those slides will appear. So that's a little bit more of the presentation side, but that's how you would manipulate if you wanted to do that. In the next video, we're going to look at actually adding content and editing the slides, but this is the basics for how to add a slide, deleting slides, and reordering them.